Hello, this is Stan, and this is part two of the character debugger and XP mod for Jagged Alliance back in action. I will show you how to get the mods, install them, and verify that they are working. Alright, so type in Jabia Tools into Google, and then look for the GitHub project page. Then click on Dist, Experimental. Jabia mod launcher .exe, then raw, and then save. So once it downloads, just run the installer. You can see that the installer created a shortcut. Make sure that Steam is running. You need Steam to run the game. Double click on the shortcut. Check the mods you want. And then click launch. This will start the game's launcher. Start the game. If the character debugger loaded, you should get a dialogue with some instructions. So I have a save game loader and I hit F7, which brought up the debugger. Let's find the Merc and put an AK in his inventory slot 2, weapon inventory slot 2. And remember to hit set. Now I've added some more advanced options and I'll show you those in a second. So let's go find an enemy. I use the team switch to figure out which one it was. So let's stun him. There he is lying on the ground like he's dying but he's not bleeding out so this he can be permanently stunned. Now let's go to heal. And let's see what kill looks like. Alright, so you can play with the debugger on your own. I'm going to show you a little bit about the XP mod. Right now, only the skills are being tracked. Attributes are not being tracked. I will track those in later versions of the mod. So let's uh, go find an enemy and kill him and I'll show you how to see that the XP mod is actually working. Okay, you see XP mod right under the XP increase, that means the mod is working. Thanks for watching part 2 of Back in Action Debugger and XP mod. They are a work in progress, so I will post updates about them on the forums. Goodbye folks, keep your powder dry.